Hello, everybody, and welcome to another exciting video where Nick, Sam, and Crendor talk about absolutely nothing in particular for one hour. Hello, uh, Mr. Wild Crendor. How are you doing today? I am doing pretty well today, actually, and I can't wait to talk about nothing for an hour. Dude, I can't wait. This is most exciting. Dude, you guys have been waiting years for this episode. At least. Like, yeah, years, weeks, months. I don't know how. When was the last uh, episode that we did? Or how long uh, ago was it? Whenever we played chess. Which, uh, That's right, we played chess. Yeah. Did you look at the comments? Uh, yes, I know there were comments that were like, Oh my god, Krendor, you had checkmate, you <laughs> idiot. Oh uh, yeah? <laughs> yeah, and I was like, oh yeah, I guess I did. But you know, um, it's one of those things like, uh, in the moment, and I got like 20 seconds on the clock, I'm like, ah! <laughs> oh. Hey, I admit, guys, I didn't look at the comments for that video. I, <laughs> I, I don't really have an excuse, I just didn't. I, I don't know why, but... Yeah. Yeah, but that was a great video, man. Just beating Crendor and Chess for like over an hour and a half. Like, that was great. <laughs> you know, I'm glad that we didn't get all the matches where he beat me on film. That was that was really good. I think <laughs> yeah. that's what made that's what made the video so much better, in my opinion. Thank God. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was still fun, though. I enjoyed playing chess. Yeah, that was good. We'll have to do it again sometime. We'll hang out and. Well, what, lately, what I've been doing, to be honest, ever since we started playing chess and like, you know, like messing around, mm -hmm. I've been uh, on my Twitch stream whenever I get bored or like whenever there's like a pause in the content. I think I might have mentioned this to you, maybe, uh, mm -hmm. where what we'll do is we'll, we'll play chess on that website and um, we'll just uh, I'll, I'll be like, hey, if, if you beat me in chess, Mr. Audience member, you uh, you get a free sub to my channel. And the people love it. I mean, it's the most <laughs> high energy chess games like on Twitch. It's actually so really I, cool. I have fun. Yeah, you should try it one day because you can just get that link and just drop it in your chat. Anybody can click it. Yeah, and you could do something like you gift subs if somebody wins, and then if like you lose, uh, or if you lose, they you gift a sub if they win. Yep. Uh, you know, yeah, I'm saying. Yep, I've um, also been playing. Uh, I've been playing Magicka on stream. Oh, I haven't played yeah, that in forever. Yeah, first Magicka. I beat it, and I was sitting here, and I was thinking, like, dude, you know it would be, like, such a fun game to stream? And now that I'm thinking about it, it would be a really fun game just to do a Let's Play of. You want to do a Let's Play of Magicka with me? I'm not going to lie. I didn't really like Magicka when I played it. Oh, my God. Why? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I didn't play it the right you didn't, way. Maybe did I you didn't... beat it? No. Oh, my God. I played, it was, like, it was... uh, 45 minutes, and I got bored. Oh my god! Did you like combine like the spells, you know, like the elements? And you oh, make the big like giga spells and stuff. Remember yeah. Thunderbolt? You know what Thunderbolt is? It's Q F A S A. Damn, that's like your password. Well, I mean, it's not, but <laughs> I, know. I, th I think I think it was Q F A S A. But I just remember once, like I unlocked Thunderbolt, I was like, yeah, because it's like a it's like a one shot kill on so many people. So you're like, <laughs> it, it was like. Let me let me just say this about Magicka, and then we'll get into talking about exactly what we're supposed to talk about in this all episode. Right. Like, all right, so all right, when I was a children, all right, <laughs> and I was just I was a young children growing, right. <laughs> growing okay. up. All right, you know what show I watched a lot of? Uh, no. Naruto. Oh, okay. And you know how in Naruto they got like the different hand signs, like the the, the tiger one and like, the ox one and all that shit. You know. Uh, I didn't actually watch Naruto, so I don't know. Oh my god! All right, you know they got like the hand signs. You I know? know the Naruto run. Okay. All right. Well, anyway, so they do like <laughs> these hand signs and shit in order to like make like their powers activate. Okay. Okay. It like mold. It like molds their chakra. To, like uh, shut the fuck up. All right. So anyway, <laughs> so I always thought it would be so cool if like there was a video game or like an MMO or something where like the keys on your keyboard represented those different hand signs and you like combined them together and then when you were like when you were like you know like q w d f r a you would do like the the, the water missile jutsu and i thought that would be so cool but like a game like that never existed until magica came along it's uh. not naruto thank god <laughs> you know but it, it's it's wizards and shit it's, it's cool and it's fun. And it's fun because it's really hard and difficult. Maybe that's yeah. why I stopped doing it. <laughs> it's like there's what? a lot of games where uh, a lot of people like it, but I just can't get into it. Terraria is another one. 
Oh, uh, I couldn't really get into Terraria. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's so many people love Terraria, and I've tried to get into it, I think, like, four or five times, and every time I just mm. don't... I just have no energy or motivation to, like, play. I'm just like, I just, I'm bored. I don't know. It's just, it's not for me. You know, not everybody well, likes playing League of Legends Auto Chess either, but you know what? That is for me. So it's just all personal prep. League of Legends has Auto Chess? Yeah, they added it like a month ago. No, I thought that was just a Dota 2 thing. No, now everybody's doing it. Which, by the way, side tangent. Okay. Um, <laughs> back about uh, a little over a year ago, we got back into Warcraft 3. Uh, we were playing a lot of it, and they had uh, a lot of tower defense games. And one of them was Pokemon... Uh, it wasn't tower defense, it was just Pokemon defense. And it was like an OG auto chest. So you would like take Warcraft 3 units that were skinned as Pokemon. So you'd pick Charmander mm -hmm. and he'd be like, uh, you know, he'd look like Charmander, but you click him and he'd be like, yes, me lord. Uh, and then <laughs> you put him in. <laughs> and then yes, me lord. It was just auto chest. So you would battle against like waves of enemies or like you battle against your friends and then somebody would mm -hmm. won. And I'd be like, dude. This is, like, such a good game mode. Like, if the, somebody made, like, an actual version of this, like, everybody would play it. Lo and mm -hmm. behold, I predicted the future. All right. What's it called? What? This this thing that you're talking about. Pokemon Defense? Is is that just what it's called? Pokemon Defense? I'm going to look it yeah. up. If, I've actually uploaded it on my uh, <coughs> channel, like, I think Hell, a year ago. The very first video that's recommended to me when I search it is Warcraft 3 Pokemon Defense by WoW Krendor. That's me. Look at that. If you watch that, all right? Look at that video. Wow. And then be like, oh my god, Krendor. Ew. You predicted the auto chess craze. This is un this is insane. Because I did. And then, because uh, that was what, like, I think <laughs> June or July? And then Dota auto chess hit around uh, whenever, like sometime in winter. And now League auto chess came out like a month ago. I'm telling you, dude. I called it. I just like how when the the Pokemon die in this video, they just explode. <laughs> it's like, bro, <laughs> <Which, laughs> oh my god, they don't like, they don't fall over. They just like, go. <laughs> <laughs> it made me realize that when Warcraft Three Remastered comes out, when Blizzard actually tells us when it's coming out, yeah, I'm, everybody's just gonna make their own auto chess. It's gonna be great. I'll make my own auto chess. You make your own, and we'll see whose is better. Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't know how to make an auto chess, but all right. I don't I'll, I'll either, figure it out. but we'll learn. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> Man, these Pokemon, dude, like freaking uh, Golem or whatever. Like the po like the dude looks, he looks like just very, very depressed in this video. Yeah. He, the, the, yeah. the round rock boy with like the four arms. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Golem or Geodude. Or, they, they had to use yeah. their imaginations for a lot of these. Wow, this looks amazingly <laughs> weird. It would help if I was listening to the audio so I could understand what was going on. I just see you like yeah. clicking a bunch of like random like 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 three pixel Pokemon. Yeah. And yeah. All right. <laughs> well, um, but yeah, that's uh, <clears throat> why did I why did I bring that up? I don't even remember. You were talking about uh, auto chess and how. Oh well, you were saying that you know not everybody enjoys League of Legends. Not oh, everybody yeah. enjoys this or that. Yeah, which, you know, not everybody's going to be into that. So it's just kind of, you know, it's all preferences. But whatever you have fun with. Yeah, and why were we talking about preference again? I don't know. Let's move on. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm drinking a uh, a Gatorade Blue Zero Sugar at the moment, speaking of uh, preferences. Right. Um, and I, l let me tell you something. Shout out to Joey, all right? Uh, I just had a bunch of Europeans uh, come and stay with me for over a week. I just invited a bunch of random, well, they're not random, but uh, I invited <laughs> some random community Europeans. members. <laughs> yeah, hey, you, get in here. Hey, got, get in here. Get over here. <laughs> no, I, uh, uh, so, like, I'm kind of weird. Like, sometimes I'll be streaming on Twitch and someone will be like, Hey, Nick Sam, can I come over? How about, yeah, just come on over. And so I just, like, invite people over to my house, like, from my Twitch stream. <laughs> and so I'm just, like, these guys are, like, dude, can we, like, come over? Yeah, hey, come on over. <laughs> so we, like, uh, we hung out for a week, and uh, we had a good time. And one of them, um, his name is Joey, he is allergic to processed sugar. Oh, so, God. yeah, so pretty much he can't eat, like, 99% of the food here in America. Damn. And uh, so all he would drink 
while he was here were these zero sugar Gatorades. And uh, I was like, oh, zero sugar Gatorade. Let me try it. And so, like, I tried it. Oh, it's disgusting. <laughs> and I drink them all the time. <laughs> so, that's, that's good the, for me, okay? It's the definition of the acquired taste. Yeah, I mean, it's okay. It's just like, it just tastes like Gatorade. If it was like, if you just accidentally spilled an entire water bottle into your Gatorade and then you <laughs> accidentally like somehow stirred it up. <laughs> you know, it's like a, like a super watery Gatorade. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, it's all right. You know, it's kind of like this a slight blue taste. I'm drinking my, uh, my <laughs> reliable black coffee. Yeah. That's what I drink. I got it's very good. Yeah, I gotta. I'm gonna pr probably be up pretty late tonight. I'm gonna be doing some editing. I don't want to say what I'm editing tonight, but uh, editing a special video. Ah. And uh, hopefully, I'll get it done tonight. It's already midnight, and yeah, yeah. Uh, normally I go to bed two hours ago, so I'm already <laughs> a little tired, but I'm feeling okay. Maybe I'll just go to the gas station and crack open another Red Bull or something, and I should be fine. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty cool. But. Anyway, um, I don't really remember what we were talking about in the beginning. We were just talking about this, that, whatever. But one thing that Crendor and I did discuss a little bit about before the call even started <clears throat> is we were talking about brand identities. Okay. Now yes. we're about to get businessy. All right. All welcome right, guys. To so marketing welcome. 102. Wel yeah, <laughs> welcome. All right. Brand identities. All right, now here's the thing. Whenever people like, like when people think of Crendor, you know, what do they think? What's the first thing that comes into your mind, audience? Leave it down in the comment section below. You pause <laughs> this video for one second and leave your comment. All right. Well, see, to me, I would say that the random person knows Crendor as this big, lazy, non content buff Jesus. All right. That's what I would say. Yeah, and yeah. what do people? Yeah, what do people think of Nixium? Well, that's obvious too. Handsome, attractive, <laughs> you know, <laughs> massive penis. Yes, of course. <laughs> yeah. So we were we were just talking about that, and Crandor uh, made the suggestion of like. Actually, I forgot what you said. You were saying like, oh, we should talk about like how we kind of came into our various identities online i guess i think i was saying like how we came into that identity and yeah. kind of like why we have that identity and then what we'd like that identity to be going forward okay so well, that's think, a good discussion you know, you know three part what, what do you want people to see you as actually wait let me ask that but in the form of a question <laughs> crendor what do you want people to see you as now and then what do you want people to see you as in the future? All right. Ba based on your goals and what you want to do. Like you want to write a book and like all that stuff, yeah. blah, blah, whatever. Go on. Well, I would say in the past, I think it's like you said, a lot of people like they would see me as uh, kind of like the goofy wow machinima guy uh, mm -hmm. with all the voices where it's like, hey, I'm Billy. Ah. Uh, <laughs> that even sounds like the worst of Billy. Uh, <laughs> well, Billy. that carries no, into no my uh, current persona of the uh, yeah. I'm just winging it, you know, the like half assed, like Microsoft. Okay, so a lot of people are always like, Crendor, I love the Microsoft Paint thing you do, where I would just like have scenes in Microsoft Paint drawn and all. Uh, but I, uh, people were like, oh, wow, yeah. how'd you come up with that? I literally did that because I was like, I don't want to film this scene. <laughs> I'm just going to draw something in Microsoft Paint so I don't have to film it. So <laughs> it was like my brain just being like, let's half-ass this because I don't want to like put in a, the effort to like actually learn how to do stuff in an editing program. Uh, and then it just became my thing. Uh, and I think there's, I think hey. one of the reasons, what? Wait a sec, I just thought about some. What? Whatever happened to that goblin machinima that I did voice acting for you for? Oh, yeah. I tried to get somebody to edit it, but then they didn't. And I tried to get someone else to edit it, and then they didn't. And then I tried to do it, and then I was like, this is going to take a long time. So then it just, well, you know. Well, it's, it's, it's a quick, like, uh, it's on topic, but off topic. I just remember, Crendor, if I, if I remember correctly, you came to me and you said you were making a goblin machinima. 
And yes. I was like, cool. So, you know, did some voices. And then you also asked me to, like, show you how to do stuff in Adobe After Effects. Yes. Yes. And I was like, I think one of the first things that I said to you when I opened up Adobe After Effects in my screen share on Skype or whatever, I was like, Crendor, you, you do remember who you are, right? <laughs> like, like, Adobe After Effects? Like, this might be a little extreme. <laughs> well, I was like he did learning. Good, though. He did though. Yeah. I mean, I remember you showed me how to make the orb go around a person. I remember that. That's right. Yeah, I did. Oh, yeah. so cool. But it yeah, was one it, of those things where I would have implemented that, but it would have still been like a very sketchy half-assed yeah, yeah. implementation. Uh, of course. But <laughs> uh, yeah, that kind of just became my thing. And I think there is like, you know, it was like some uh, person ability to it. Like everybody mm. at some point in their life is like, I don't want to do this. Right, mm. it's kind of half-assed or whatever, but you still like, you know, you still care about it. You still want to complete it, but just not certain parts of whatever you're doing. Mm. Uh, so I think that's part of what made me at least somewhat relatable. I don't know. Uh, mm. And then you know, I became passionate about a lot of things. IKEA, that's one of them. Oh my god! Yeah, I mean, yeah. the thing is, I still like IKEA, but I don't go there nearly as much as I used to. <laughs> like, yeah. I used to go there maybe like once every couple weeks and now i go there like once every couple months um so it's uh you know that's something where i still like ikea but i've uh, kind of moved past it a little bit uh mm. and then uh let's see what else sloths i implemented the sloth into my uh persona or my brand what, uh what is the story behind the sloth where does it come from because i genuinely don't know is it just like, oh, just lazy Crendor or half-assed Crendor? Where, where I think a lot of people from? would just be like, Crendor, it's like, what's your spirit animal? And they'd be like, oh, it's a sloth. Sloths are your spirit animal. And so after a while of having the uh, my icons be like my undead guy face palming and mm. the crocodile from World of Warcraft, uh, I was like, I need a new like logo or something. And I was like, why don't I just do a sloth, right? It's like an animal. Uh, it's relatable. People know what a sloth is, so they come to into the stream expecting something similar to a sloth. And I was like, you know what? Let's do that. Mm. And uh, I think it's went really well. It's allowed me to like do sweatpants, which yeah. I still wear my sweatpants. I still sell my sweatpants. Like that's if I had to do one thing uh, with merch, I would make sweatpants. That's the only merch thing I would do. Like I love I love making sweatpants because I love wearing sweatpants. Right. There you go. Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna. I want to sell things that I'm gonna <laughs> use. Like I sell a mug and I drink out of the mug. I sell sweatpants mm. that I use and I sell a hoodie that I use. That's like it, and a mm. and a t-shirt that I've worn. Uh, so it's like, you know, I'm not gonna sell you like, uh, Krensloth, uh, I don't know, biking gear because I don't go biking. So I'll sell you <laughs> okay. that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. That's a good philosophy to have. You know, yeah. if, if you're gonna sell it. Make it something that you are going to use. Yeah, exactly. It's almost like it's almost like make it for yourself first. Mm -hmm. And that's honestly, good. that's kind of why I made Wow Machinima at the start anyway, uh, mm -hmm. is because there was like a, a void at that time period of Wow Machinima. Like a lot of the older guys, like Mind Flame and Oxhorn and all those guys, they stopped. And yep. I was like, well, I'm still looking for Wow Machinima. So and then I was like, you know what? I'll do it. And I mean, that's kind of how I got into it. So I mean. Uh, that philosophy uh, was with me back then. I was like, I'll just do it myself. Uh, mm. <laughs> so I don't know. There you go. Um, side tangent. But anyway, uh, I, uh, I'm kind of at that point where I'm like, well, what am I doing moving forward? Like, I've become buff door now uh, yeah, after going door. to the, the gym, which I never thought would happen. But here mm -hmm. we are. Uh, I've also become the guy who uh, advocates for gallbladders and yes. digestive health <laughs> and yep. toenails bladder ambassador toenails another big one yeah yeah, um, yeah toenails. <laughs> forgot about that <laughs> yep uh but i think uh recently i've just kind of been like i don't know what i want to do but i've gotten i've been telling you about this but i've gotten really into warhammer uh yep. Yep. so i'd like to do a lot of warhammer stuff not like only warhammer stuff but i'd like to do at least uh, like, something yeah i'd like to do something for warhammer whether it's like you know like a little well edited video every week or like uh just like something of me like building or painting or i don't know i just want to do something 
like once a week hmm. with Warhammer. So every week I've been streaming my Warhammer uh, building sessions. So like I'll you know build a thing and then be like nice and usually for like an hour or two and everyone's like wow this is some nice ASMR style content. Uh, I guess that's another thing ASMR. Uh, yep. And so I'm like, yeah, you know, it's like you just chill out. It's uh, I've gotten a lot of people to get back into it, too. Like, they're like, wow, I got some models laying around I haven't put together or built. And they started building them again. Um, mm -hmm. So I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do. But I definitely want to do some more hammer stuff because I have been getting really into it. I've already built a bunch of my Saurus Warriors. I just finished building my uh, Saurus Old Blood on a Carnosaur. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, uh, I'd really like to do something with that. So I think moving forward, I just, you know, I'd like to implement Warhammer and I would like to upload a bit more quality videos instead of, uh, <laughs> okay. you know, live streams uploaded mm. straight to the YouTube channel. I, I don't mind doing those, but I like having mm. at least a, a blend. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, so that's kind of yeah. where I'm at right now. So, uh, okay. how about you? Uh, I think, uh, like you were saying, I've gone through a little bit of a transition uh, in my time online as well. I think uh, when I first got started, uh, you know, it was, you know, oh, Nixium is the machinima guy. Um, and, you know, I, I released all those machinimas with Mookluck. Me and him were like, you know, machinima partners. And, um, you know, Moo Cluck has gone his own way now. Oh, we're still friends. I'm not trying to say that we're not. Uh, but he's no longer interested in really being involved in the online world. Um, he doesn't want to make videos or really... He doesn't really want to participate all that much. He just kind of wants to do his own thing now. He's uh, learning trade skills. Uh, he's learning to be a butcher right now. And so he kind of went his own way. And, <clears throat> I mean, you know, Nixium and Moo Cluck were the dynamic duo, you know? And so... Mm -hmm when Mookluck was gone, like that was, that was like my machinima guy. You know, that was my, that was my bro. Uh, you know, we'd review like scripts together and like everything. And so, uh, there, there's a lot of reasons like why I haven't uploaded machinima in so long. But one of the primary reasons why is because Mookluck went his own way. And, um, so I was like, well, maybe like this time of my, you know, online video making is done. Um, so that, that's one reason why I stopped. Um, but you know, I, you know, yeah, I mean, I haven't made a wow machinima in forever. Um, like, I don't even know how long it's been. I think my last one was, uh, uh, how to night elf. Mm -hmm. I think, uh, if you don't count that like bullshit, April fool's machinima that I made on April the 1st, <laughs> yeah. that was, uh, that was hilarious. I love that video. <laughs> and, uh, um, but yeah, I, uh, it's been a long time. And so the thing is, when people describe me now as like, oh, yeah, Nixium is that machinima guy. It's like, well, I'm really not anymore. Um, you know, lately, my content has mostly been a, a very discussion based. It's been me like, you know, commentating over World of Warcraft and Elder Scrolls Online and, you know, other games here and there where I share my opinions of what I think these games are doing good, what I think they're doing bad, and so on and so forth. And, you know, I I do admit that lately there's a little bit of a conflict in my sort of online image, which I think has not been healthy for me. Um, yes, I was that machinima guy. Like, when you went to my YouTube channel, like, you know, oh, it was like, oh, yeah, like, Nixium's primary thing was the machinimas. But if you ask somebody like, you know, who is Nixium now, it's a little tricky to answer that, I feel, because uh, you could say like, oh, you know, Nixium is this this like game commentator guy. Uh, but I also do other kinds of videos other than just that. Uh, if you go to my uh, you, you might have this impression of me when I upload YouTube videos that I'm like this really hardcore like MMO gamer and I'm sharing my opinions on the MMO scene then you watch me on Twitch and you realize that I'm just like a big goofball who likes to have fun with the community while playing games totally casually. Then you follow me on social media and you see that I'm like this really big fitness guy. Like I love going to the gym and going outside and going on hikes and stuff. And I'm, you know, I like that stuff. And so there's kind of like a conflict a little bit. 
And so um, I, I've sort of been in that uh, conflict stage, if you want to call it that, for a while now. And I know some people, like, listening to this, they're going to say, like, what are you talking about? Like, they, they're like, you know, you're just you're just nixing them. But um, everybody needs a niche. You know, Crendor is talking about his sloth persona, the non-content, you know, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I feel like I have lost my niche. Um, and I need to rebuild one. And so uh, going forward, <coughs> um, this is an idea that I have. Uh, I've already discussed it with Crendor, so I'm not going to repeat everything that I said to, you know, for his own sanity. Woo. But <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but uh, going forward, you know, something that I'm very passionate about that I've never really like, like I share it on like my live streams, but I don't really share it on my YouTube channel, you know, is uh, I'm really passionate about history. Um, I love history. You know, I, I love the, the history of like the Germanic tribes and like the Nordic peoples, the Vikings and all that stuff. And to the point that some people online have referred to me as the Viking LARPer. Um, <laughs> you know, they, they look at my like cool ass hairstyle and my beard and, you know, the fact that, you know, I have this whole like uh, kind of old Viking -y medieval outfit that I wear sometimes for videos and like, oh, he's just some crazy Viking LARPer. And honestly, going forward, I, I kind of would like to embrace that a little bit. Um, I would like to uh, keep goofing around and wearing, you know, my cool like little outfits and, you know, doing my leveling challenges, you know, my, my honorable Viking challenge. I would love to uh, be able to do vlogs about like uh, fitness and history. And uh, I'd love to be able to upload a video uh, talking about like my passion for history and it's not out of place on my YouTube channel um, and so I, I sort of it's not like I'm gonna I, I don't want to like shove like a bunch of crazy like vikingness into people's faces like no 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 hey, you know keep it lighthearted, keep it fun little subtle references here and there have just kind of like a theme to things uh, but uh, I would like to express that side of myself online going forward in in fitness vlogs. Uh, I actually just finished recording and rendering a wood carving vlog. And I, I don't finish the wood carving in the video. I only do like honestly like 10% of it. And my thought process is I'll upload more little vlogs as uh, time goes on. It's only like five minutes long. Mm -hmm. And you'll, you get to see the, the process rather than like a big sped up process like the uh, like my last wood carving vlog. And like things like that, you know, they, they won't stand out of place. Because um, like right now, like let's be honest, if I uploaded a video and it was like 10 things you did not know about Ragnar Lothbrook, that would be like completely out of place on my YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah. But if but if it was kind of like, oh yeah, Nixium is this like this crazy like goofball who has like an interest in that sort of territory of history. If I did upload like a silly video like that, you know, I, I, obviously I'll keep my humor. It's not like I'm gonna go like all serious mode. It wouldn't stand out of place anymore. Yeah. So uh, I'm sort of like rebuilding my niche um, at the moment, and honestly, I. I know some people aren't going to like it. Um, it's not like I'm going to go hardcore, but even so, some people aren't going to like it. But honestly, like, I'm very genuinely excited. Like, like, I'm genuinely pumped to be able to share that side of who I am with the online world. Uh, I think it's going to be fun. And not just on YouTube, but on Twitch, social media, like everywhere. I, I think it's just going to be a ton of fun. So I feel like for me personally, a lot of my. If I'm being honest, I feel like a lot of my passions. Are no longer present on my in my content. And I want to bring that back. I want to bring it back with fire and blood and glory. And so that's what I intend to do. So I, essentially, what, what I'm trying to say in conclusion is in the future, I want to be known as the crazy Viking LARPer guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's it. Uh, the thing is, I think a lot of creative people go through this, uh, especially mm -hmm. when people have to do uh, have this as a job because, you know, at some point you start getting tired 
of oh, what yeah. you're doing. And it's a it's a slippery slope or it's a tricky situation because you have people that are like, uh, don't you want to get views? Don't you want to make money? How about you make those machinimas? And then if you make something you're not passionate about, they're like, wow, yep. this sucks. This isn't like your old ones. And it's like, well, what are you supposed to do? So, yep. <laughs> so it's like you just got to do what you want to do. Uh, and I yep. think I got a, I had a few comments like that where people were just like, man, I miss, you know, what this channel used to be. And it's like, I enjoyed, uh, what my YouTube channel used to be, but like I've grown and mm -hmm. I've changed. And so my content will change. And, uh, you know, it just happens that I do live streaming more now. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I still enjoy doing YouTube. I think it's a different art form. It's kind of like drawing versus painting. Like, I yeah. think it's two different things. So I'd like to, you know, kind of get the spark back with YouTube that I had back in the day, but with the, uh, you know, various different things that aren't just WoW Machinima. Of course. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean I've gotten the exact same comments thrown at me, like, who knows how many times. Um, but like you said, I mean, uh, times change. You know, you, you get older, your interests change. I mean, some people... You know, they new people come into your life, old people leave your life. And, uh, you know, I, I personally, me, I have no plans at the current moment of making any new WoW Machinima. I might down the road. I mean, I don't know. Uh, maybe because it's something like I, I've been making WoW Machinima since, oh, my God, like middle school. Uh, yeah. I'm 27 now. <laughs> and so it's always been something I'm very passionate about and I'll always be a fan of the art form so maybe like one day I'll make something again but like right now um, I do want to like pursue other things and other interests because just like Crendor just said I don't want to make a video on my YouTube channel that I'm not passionate about and because then it's just the audience doesn't deserve that, man. Like, you know, they, they deserve the best. So that's that's what I think anyway. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, if you don't do what you're passionate about and you're just doing it just for views or to please people, I mean, I think if you're just anything, doomed in that case, man. Yeah. And it's like people talk about selling out. Well, that actually is selling out. You're like giving up. You're doing something you don't want to do for viewership and, you know, money. And yep. it's like, you know, I, I think it's more respectable to do something you want to do for less views and less money because you actually care about it. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I mean, Crendor, I mean, he, uh, well, man, I'm, uh, forgive me. I'm talking to the audience here. <laughs> Cren, you know, Crendor, you know, he, you know, you really took off with your wow machinimas. Mm. Um, I really took off, you know, thanks to mine, like me and Mooclock working together. So we kind of have that shared common history of like kind of what took us or like what was the initial catapult i guess yeah and um yeah it's just about like finding other things that you know we're, we're passionate about and expressing them online and you know truth be told i i really do enjoy um talking about like like i do i love shitting on bfa it's my favorite thing to do <laughs> I love like saying, "Hey, Blizzard, you kind of made some mistakes here and there with your MMO." And I, I like uh, to be serious. I, I like analyzing games. I like you know saying like, "Oh, this is why I think this game isn't doing well. This is why I think this game is doing well." Um, still a big fan of World of Warcraft. Still a big fan of video games and MMOs and in general and whatnot. Um, but I do really want to express that other side of me. Yeah. Um, like who I am behind the scenes because there's just a there's just a lot of untapped passion there. It's like a little oil like thing like buried under the ground, and I just <laughs> want to tap it. Yeah. Um, and uh, I think, like you said, you just got to do what you're passionate about. And hey, you know, maybe maybe I'll upload a video, uh, you know, several months down the road, and it'll just be a it'll just be a vlog of me going to Germany and I'm like, Oh, here I am in Germany. And like, look at these like cool historical places like that I'm visiting. Some people won't care about that. Who cares? Yeah. Who cares? Maybe the video only gets 5,000 views compared to like, you know, Oh, if I, if I, 
if I share my thoughts on like Queen Ajara's like breast size, you know, in the latest <laughs> patch, like, oh yeah, that's 60,000 views instantly, like, you know, immediately or, or more. Yeah. But who cares? You know, it's about doing what you want to do. Cause at the end of the day, guys, I'm about to get really deep and philosophical here for a second, <laughs> but in Crendor probably will, he'll understand what I'm talking about here. And I think you guys will too. Uh, especially mm. you older people that are watching. You never... When you're doing YouTube, you never want it to become a job. Mm -hmm. That's it. Because as soon as it becomes a job, you're just you're just miserable. Yeah. You know? it's, uh, it's, to, it's like I said... Supposed, what? I was going to say, it's supposed to be our passion. You know, something that we're very adamant about. So, yeah. Boy. Well, I was going to say, yeah, like back when I started making WoW Machinimas, I had like so many ideas, so many things I wanted to do. I was like writing scripts in class when I was going to community college. I was doing all these things like, yeah, I love this. And then, you know, when you start doing other things like, oh, man, I can't wait to play Hearthstone today. I can't wait mm. to, you know, upload this video. I can't wait to record this thing. And then you hit mm. a point where it's like, you're like, uh, got to play Hearthstone today. Yep. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, all right. it's like you don't want it to be that because, again, uh, like people watching, I think can sense that I can uh, I can sense when people aren't interested in what they're doing, like pretty easily. Like if I'm watching some person I used to watch, or like a video or a stream or whatever, I can usually sense like this person doesn't want to be doing this thing, and I never want to be at that point. And that's why when I live stream too, I'll you know I won't live stream a game that I don't like actively want to play. Because yeah. it's just gonna be, be it's just gonna be boring. It's gonna be me being like, "All right, we're playing Terraria, I guess. Here we go. Hey <laughs> yeah. Well, it's popular or, it, again, so I gotta play it. It's a lot of forced fun. Yeah. There, there have been times I admit, you know, I mean, I stream on Twitch too, and there have been times where I've been like, I don't really want to play WoW, and I've had to for sometimes weeks force the fun. And it's, it's usually it just consists of you're playing the game, but you're not actually playing it. You're more just like talking to the audience. Yeah, it's background and for yeah, it's like talking. Yeah, it's just like a glorified just chatting stream, I guess. Yeah, I honestly, I mean, some of you guys listening might have seen this. Uh, maybe not. Uh, I did a stream recently, which I was very nervous to do. I admit because I had never done something like this before. Uh, I did a wood carving stream. Um, I just pretty much i dragged my entire computer out my window using a bunch of extension cables set it on my back porch set up my microphone everything and i just sat in the backyard and just did wood carving for like three hours um just you know pounding away and whittling away the wood and honestly i didn't look at the numbers of that stream i didn't know if it was doing like incredibly well or incredibly poorly but honestly i really didn't care yeah. um you know, I had a. Uh, I know Crendor stopped by for a little bit. I did, and uh, yeah, he stopped by and was like, "Well, cool." And he listened to me, like you know, he watched me play with my wood on stream. It was cool. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, uh, and uh, it was just a lot of fun. Um, you know, wood carving is something that I haven't done in a while, but that that is one of those things. That, like, it's something I'm really passionate about, but I just don't really express it that much. And so, after I did that wood carving stream, so many people were like, "Wow, like that was really good. That was just really comfy and really chill. Like just watching you make something." Uh, I didn't finish it, but you know, I did as much as I could. Yeah. And that's what inspired me. Uh, about like three days after the wood carving stream, or a few days after. I was like, yeah, I should just make a YouTube video. Just like vlog it. Yeah. And so I just took my cameras out and I was like, hey, I got this new piece of wood here. So I'm going to start messing with it. Uh, spoilers. The wood that I got has like a, it has like a, a rot point in the center of it. So the wood <laughs> is like really like soft. And so it, it's kind of, it, it, I might need to restart <laughs> on a new yeah. piece of wood because it's just falling apart. So it's like, oh, shit. <laughs> but that's okay. I will say I'll, I'll bust out the Dremel tool, but I can't use the hammer and chisel on it anymore. Mm. I'll see what I can do. That's fun. Yeah, I just want to have fun. Yeah, yeah. that's uh, 
that's like how I got back into Warhammer. I was just, mm-hmm. I remember really being into it in like eighth grade, but I was also just a dumb eighth grade kid. So I was just like, I don't know how to build these things, but I, I just enjoyed the concept of Warhammer and all this stuff. And then mm-hmm. I got into Blood Bowl, you know, a few years ago, and then I was just really into it. And then I was like, whatever, I want to see that old uh, manual because I used to read the actual like 300 page Warhammer manual, like on vacation trips in the car to pass the time. And yep. so I bought it off eBay for like four bucks and I was like, all right. And then people were like, why don't you just, you know, do it again? And I was like, oh yeah, I could do that. So I, uh, I bought all my lizard men stuff. They're now called the Seraphon, which I think is dumb, mm-hmm. but you know, I just, still, I still call them lizard men. Uh, okay. and it's, uh, it's just been really fun. Like I've enjoyed streaming it. I've enjoyed not streaming it, just building it, you know, on my own time as like a hobby. I've just really mm. enjoyed kind of doing like a, a craft style thing, if you know what I mean. And just, uh, yeah, yeah. you know, doing all these miniatures. There's so many different aspects to it, too. It's like you got to build it. You got to paint it. You can play the game if you want. You don't have to. It's just kind of like whatever. But I've just I'm been really, uh, really passionate about it. So I've just wanted to. Yeah, I just opened up your uh, Warhammer stream. I've never actually gotten to like tune in. Is that Godzilla? No, it's my Carnosaur. Or- Oh, wow. Cool. That's a big boy. <laughs> yeah. I just finished building him today, actually. I based him. Uh, wow. And, uh, yeah, he comes in the starter kit. So now it's actually really neat. They saw these starter kits, whether it's for 40K or Age of Sigmar. Some people are still like, Age of Sigmar? All right. It's gotten better. <laughs> Plus, I don't care. I just want to build lizard men. All right. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but honestly, like... I might steal your idea because I have a ton of Warhammer figurines that I've never actually like. They're just still sitting in the pack waiting to be built. It's a bunch yeah. of Ultramarines. Yeah, do it. Yeah, honestly, it's like it's really zen to do. At least I found it to be. It's really relaxing and just chill to do and build and paint and everything. Uh, I haven't started painting yet, but I've watched like painting videos and like watched all this stuff on YouTube. I've just really gotten into it. And so uh, they sell these start collecting kits for whichever one. So you can just buy one and it gives you a whole bunch of units so the one i got it gives you like source warriors and it gives you a giant carnosaur with a source old blood on it and then it gives you some source knights so i've built the carnosaur now and i've built the warriors so i just got to build the knights but uh i've enjoyed it so much i already bought <coughs> more skinks i bought an army of skinks to do and then i bought chaos or uh, beasts of chaos i was like they look cool i'll buy that too so now i'm just like i'm just i'm all in it man Neat. Wow, you've been playing Paper Mario too. I love Paper Mario. Yeah, that was a really fun right. game. I uh, I put up all the vods on my YouTube channel because uh, I would play it once a week, and it was just it became like a fun little tradition thing. Every week, I just play Paper Mario or uh, a chapter until I beat it. What uh, what, how are, how are you playing Paper Mario? You got like an emulator or something? I have a Wii U. <laughs> ah, yes that that ancient relic yep i didn't i just i never used it and then i was like dude i can play old games on this so then i just <laughs> started playing old games on it there we go i also see this uh, did you uh three days ago was it your birthday yeah i oh, turned dude, 30 wow 30 the big three oh Ten more levels. Get your mount. <laughs> yes, I can't wait. I'll get my That's midlife right. crisis. Uh, That's right. <clears throat> whatever car I get, but you know. Are you having your midlife? Cr- wait, are you saying you're not having your midlife crisis yet? No, that's like you hit you hit your midlife crisis when you get your mount at forty, because that's when you buy your like red convertible, uh, that's, and that's you're true. like, yeah, here we go, midlife. <laughs> Oop. Wow. Yeah. yeah, I'm watching like some of your like vods like right now. I just have it muted. Oh, I'm watching you play something, and th- this is League of Legends. League of Legends Auto Chess. Yeah, Auto Chess. That's really fun. I mean, that's really wow. what I've. I should uh, try this. Yeah, all the things I've mainly done recently are League of Legends Auto Chess, Warhammer, and uh, Paper Mario. <laughs> but now I finished Paper Mario, so now it's just League and Auto or uh, League Auto Chess and Warhammer. That yeah, sounds like uh, fun. What am I doing with my life? <laughs> I know. I'm not even. I want to have fun. I'm not a big 40k <laughs> person, but like yeah, chat yeah. and everybody was like, just look through the armies. Look through the armies, and I looked through them. But I found the uh, one. I think it was like the something sons. They're like 
uh, Egyptian alien people. It like makes people mad. They're like, they're not aliens. They're actually. <laughs> I'm like, I don't care. All right, I think they look cool. So maybe I'll get that for like a 40k army. I don't know. Okay. I'm just enjoying it. I just I let, say I really like Warhammer 40k, but mm -hmm. I know nothing about Warhammer 40k other than the Ultramarines are badass and live and die for the God Emperor. <laughs> that's all yeah. I know, and that's all I want to know. I don't want to hear the deep, intricate lore of the whatever people from the whatever dimension. I don't care. If it's not the God <laughs> Emperor, and if it doesn't involve worshipping the God Emperor, I don't care. Okay? Yeah. Let's make that very clear. Well, there, is, there is one game I started playing through on stream some time ago. Mm -hmm. and I was having fun, but I never finished it. Did you ever play Fear? first encounter assault recon nope it was like it was like this uh horror fps it like completely changed like ai when it came to video games it, like took them to the next level sound familiar first encounter assault recon fear uh alma the little girl ghost black hair uh, red outfit no? fear i mean fear game Oh, yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, it, I started playing through the first uh, one of that, um, but I, I just never finished it. I'll yeah. tell you another game that I played recently on stream. Uh, and by recently, I mean like within the past like you know several months. Uh, I played, uh, what was it? Oh, no, actually it was, a, oh, wow, has it already been over a year? Good God. Jurassic World Evolution. That was fun. <laughs> Because all I did is I just did like battle royales and I would name the dinosaurs after like subscribers and have them fight. And I'm like, oh, dude, come here. He's, he's winning. Oh, he's dead. But, oh, I think I played that actually. Yeah, that was a fun game. <laughs> I didn't like how the dinosaurs didn't sleep in it, though. It's supposed to be realistic, but nope. Oh, well. <laughs> but. Yeah, dude, there's like there's a ton of games. Like I'm looking at my like Steam list, and I'm like, man, I should like I should play this. I should try that. Even like some stupid games where I'm like, this would be a terrible idea. No one would watch, but I really don't care. Like Rocket League. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love Rocket League. I'd play that. Oh, dude. I don't think I've I know played it in years. I'm play. but... What? I'm actually I'm hitting the install button right now. <laughs> the very first roller coaster tycoon. Oh my god. Now that's yeah. Now you're doing it. Now I'm doing it. Dude. Actually, uh, <laughs> speaking of that, or you can finish what you were saying. I can wait. All I was gonna say was, um, you know, earlier today I was down at my mom's house, and uh, I was I have a journal where I write down ideas. I think you said you also keep a journal where you just kind of jot down ideas too. Yeah. I think. Yeah. And uh, I actually wrote down an idea. I didn't even think about it until now because it was hours and hours ago, and I wrote this down. But I was like, oh, what if like once a day or once a day, once a week on stream, I have like a nostalgia day where I just play like old games. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. And I wrote down a few game ideas like Star Wars Battlefront 2, the old one, uh, like Knights of the Old Republic, Roller Coaster Tycoon could be in there. There's a lot. Yeah, yeah that, sounds, that sounds like fun. I'm on to do it. Yeah, I was actually going to bring that up that I uh, I had a series well, I have a series called okay. Nostalgia Trip, and I pretty much did just that. I would just play old games I played, and then maybe I didn't finish them, or, you know, I played them and then just forgot about it. So I played uh, Empire Earth, Empire's Dawn of the Modern World, Pokemon Snap, Mario <laughs> Party 2, yep. uh, Rise of Nations, <laughs> Age of Empires, Age of Empires 2. I played Looney Tunes, yeah. B-Ball. Oh, my God. <laughs> Diddy Kong yeah, Racing. Play, play Toontown. <laughs> <laughs> I never actually played Toontown. I played MU yeah, Online. Do you ever play Mu Online? Oh, yeah, dude. I, I got in trouble. Well, wait, no. Wait, what was the game where it was like the 2D game and like you bounced around and stuff and you fought like blobs and whatnot? Is that a uh, Maple Story? A Maple Story. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I got in trouble the very first day I played Maple Story. <laughs> yeah, I kind of like got a bunch of people like they all it was like 50 people all reported me and i think i got banned <laughs> yeah. oh my god it was i didn't do anything bad you know before somebody comments and says like oh nixum said something no all i did is like long story short i walked into like my first town and there was like this lady there and there were all these people like surrounding this thought 
and I was like, who's this? And I clicked to like inspect her or something. And if I remember correctly, there was like a button that you could press for like reputation on someone. So you could like press it up or press it down. <laughs> and I didn't know what it meant. So I just like pressed like, oh, rep down or personality down or whatever it was. And apparently they get like a message when somebody like when somebody like does that. So immediately she was like, hey, why did you do that? And I just pretended like I didn't speak English. So I just walked away. And suddenly like this lady, this max level character or whatever, and her like army of like white knight orbiters were following me around, <laughs> killing all my stuff. And then they were like, yeah, let's all report him. Let's all report him to a GM. And uh, if you remember correctly, back in Maple Story, if you hit your F keys, your character would do different facial expressions. So I just kept doing like the nervous laughing like facial expression <laughs> over and over instead of talking. And so I might have gotten banned. But after that, because I like pissed off an entire community, I kind of just got scared and I never logged back in. <laughs> That's a fun story for you. Huh. 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 <laughs> that's uh i mean it's one of those things where well emu online is kind of like that too it had just like a bunch of brazilian people just like trying to scam you in game or hack you oh that sounds uh, amazing <laughs> <laughs> yeah emu uh, online emu online was kind of like a korean diablo ripoff but online like emu online no, mu like the letter oh. m and the letter u it's still uh, going. What is this? I don't remember. I don't know if I, well, I. I know I've heard of this game. I just don't. I don't think I ever played it. Yeah, it it's uh, cool. Yeah, I mean, Dude. it was pretty fun. You know what game you should totally play with me for a let's play? What? Gauntlet, Dark Legacy. Uh. Did you ever play that game? Uh, I have not. Oh, dude, it's amazing. I, I know some people like in the chat are going to be like, oh, or in the in the comment section. It did. It's like this. It, it It's like this arcade game and it's like an RPG. You choose like, oh, do you want to be a knight? You know, a wizard, like whatever. And you just like go through these like worlds and you uh you find use keys to open doors and chests and, and you, you find keys and you like find treasures. It, it's like a role playing game. And you can like learn new abilities and stuff and it's like a big, it's like a proper old school RPG adventure. And you can do up to like four players. Ooh. And uh, yeah, me and like my friend David, me and my friends used to spend the night at his house all the time because David's parents bought him like those like big like giga packs of fruit roll ups where you get like like a thousand fruit roll ups in one box. So we were like, oh, hell yeah. So we'd spend the night at David's house and just eat fruit roll ups and play Gauntlet Dark Legacy all night. <laughs> then, we get, then we get sick <laughs> it was great <laughs> but if I could find like something to play that I would totally do everything in my power to seduce you and maybe a few other people to play it with me yeah I'd oh, be down for that legacy. that sounds fun yeah alright neat <laughs> I got so many ideas now this is a good conversation yeah this is better than our uh, you know Typical, uh, how's uh, gallbladder doing and uh, How going to the gym? How is your gallbladder doing? Honestly, it's pretty good. Well, it's pretty it's, good. You know, it's probably in a dumpster somewhere, but uh, my oh, yeah. gallbladderless body is doing pretty well. I've uh, yeah. I've been able to eat more like fatty things with less uh, problems. Okay. Um, so it's uh, my body. I remember my aunt got her gallbladder out and she said it took her like a year and a half for her body to really adapt. Uh, mm -hmm. And so it's been very much, it's been about a year and a half. And uh, I noticed my body has actually started adapting a lot better than, you know, what it used to. Like back, I think like a few months after I had like a hamburger and fries and a milkshake. And uh, I, you know, I think I might have uh, died for a brief moment there uh, and then come okay. back to life. Uh, in the bathroom. Uh, but now, I've eaten that and been, like, completely fine. So it's like, if I were to do that, like, two meals in a row, then I might be like, ah. But uh, it's not healthy to do that anyway. So <laughs> uh, no yeah. matter if you have a gallbladder or not. Nice. But I mean, I, I haven't had a single issue with mine ever since I went to the doctor. 
I, I thought I I felt like I had a small pain attack one day, but I was I was fine. The only thing I have to complain about right now, I, I was telling Crendor before we started recording that I uh, uh, I I might uh, it's possible I got. I mean, I'm looking at it right now. It's on my leg. I think it's very possible that I totally got bit by a brown recluse spider. Um, <laughs> Because the, the bite looks very similar to what a brown recluse spider bite looks like. And uh, I know they're, they are around here. Um, so, yeah, I might have gotten uh, bitten by one. But we'll just watch. You know, it's not a big deal. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, just some of my skin will rot away and then blah, blah, blah. And I got to put a big healing pad over it. And there'll, there'll literally be a crater in my skin for a while. I'll be all right. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. I don't care. <laughs> Poison. 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 <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, that's fine. You know, no big deal. Doing that, I'm closing in on the uh, one year anniversary of going to the gym. So that's yeah. been great. I'm like, uh, I think it's like two weeks away that I started going to the gym uh, multiple times a week. So that's been uh, kind of cool. Just seeing my progress, or just feeling my progress. I wish I would have taken pictures like back then of me being like, "Here I am, it's me, Crandor." Now, like, yeah, yeah. it's me, Crandor. Um, <laughs> so yeah. I've definitely, I mean, since going to the gym, what's been interesting for me, um, I mean, I, I ha I've had to take like some big breaks. Like when I was in the UK for three months, I wasn't able to go to the gym a single time, but uh, and I only got back a few months ago. But, um, you know, I, I think for me, like the cool thing was my favorite exercise to do is a deadlift. And I don't remember how much I could lift when I first went to the gym, but I remember like, I do remember when I first started going, it was like, oh, it was like my goal to do six plates. So that's 315 pounds. And, you know, now my goal has been eight plates. Uh, so that's uh, 405 pounds. And right now my PR is, uh, is 385 pounds. Wow, so I'm just getting, like, I'm getting really close uh, to that eight plate, and uh, that that's really exciting for me. I, I actually, <laughs> even though I was just doing deadlifts the other day, I, earlier today I tried to do a, a 380, but I, I couldn't do it. My muscles were like, oh no, no, hold on, we need to rest a little <laughs> bit more from the other day. So I was like, all right, fine. Um, but that's been that's been really cool for me, and it, it's you know it's just going all the way back to the beginning of the conversation, like you know. Um, I used to be like big, like big fat guy, and I, you know, I'm still a little bit chunky, but you know, I, I used to be, I used to be really fat, and you know, I lost all this weight, and so it's, it's very common where you know people will come onto my stream and they're like, well, you know, like how did you, how did you go about losing 80 pounds? And I'll give them this advice, and I get really passionate about it, like, oh yeah, I do this, and this is what I did, and that's another thing that I'd like to, you know, share with people online. It's just untapped passion that I want to share uh, through videos and stuff. So. Something I want to do, but yeah, buff door. Yeah, gotta go to the gym with Crendor one day, guys. That's true. And then I was gonna say uh, before when you were talking about all your videos, I want more camping uh, <laughs> video and more sitting outside talking as you uh, you know smoke a cigar. Okay, I think that's quality. Yeah. That's like some prime ASMR that isn't really <laughs> ASMR that is ASMR. Yeah, man, I could do that. I mean, there's nothing wrong with smoking a cigar every now and then. Yeah. So I like yeah, that. I, I do enjoy my cigars. <laughs> so, yeah, I could do it. Like, I'm mean, it, even, it's funny that you say that because just earlier today, uh, you know, I have a community Discord. And um, just earlier today, a dude posted in my like feedback section. He was just saying, like, hey, Nixium, like, just want you to know. Uh, I don't remember your name, friend. I'm, I apologize. But he just said, like, yeah, you know, I, I really enjoyed your fireside with Nixium videos back in the day. And I was wondering if you were thinking about maybe bringing something like that back. And um, maybe. Uh, I mean, I, I think that would be fun. Yeah. Go out and sit and just uh, be fun. And you know, why not smoke a cigar and, like, light up the fire pit? The only thing that I have to be careful about right now, I'm actually, um, I'm, I'm spraying my yard for... Uh, uh, because whenever I go out in my yard and I sit on my back patio, I get these like little bug bites on me mm. and they're, it's not ants. Um, what are those things called? It's not an ant and it's not a flea. 
Uh, uh, isn't it called like a chigger? I don't know. Yeah, like they're, uh, let me Google it. They're called like chiggers, I think. Um, I think that I've got some of those. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. They're chiggers. Um, they, uh, I think I have like a, a little like outbreak of them in my backyard. So I gotta like, you know, I've been spraying the yard <laughs> over the past two days. What? I have never seen those before. Well, you're not from the south. <laughs> Apparently. Yeah, well, actually, uh, where where are they from? Uh, America, Jigger's map. Are they up north? Uh, oh, no, they're, they're, they're everywhere. They're all the huh. way up into Canada. Interesting. Yeah, they're like just these tiny, like, they're not ticks. They're just like these really tiny little nasty bugs that bite you, and they leave those, you see those, like, pictures? Those, uh, like, yeah. red bites? Oh, dude, I'm covered in those things right now, like, down oh, on my, my ankles God. and my legs. Like, I'm covered in that. Um... And so, yeah, so I actually went and bought some poison, and it's not technically for them. It's for ants and spiders and pretty much every insect under the sun. And, uh, yeah, I've been, like, spraying my yard, and so hopefully I can get rid of this infestation so that I don't, I can actually go out in my backyard again and not get bit to pieces. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, these things, oh, my God, it's a pain. So, <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep, yep. Huh. Well. But, yeah. So nasty. Yeah, if you guys want something fun to look up, just look up uh, some bites from those things. That's what my legs look like right now. <laughs> they itch terribly. I've been scratching them this whole time or just rubbing them because I don't want them to bleed. <laughs> well, uh, well. That's, uh, that's probably a good place to end it. We've been going an hour. <laughs> Yeah, we, we, we could end it right there. I'll, I'll let you guys know in the next episode how my crusade against the bug empire is going. <laughs> Excellent. I can't wait. Yep. And one more thing that I'll say. Uh, if if Crendor wants a really good ASMR game to play, and I don't know if you've played this, I do recommend the game The Long Dark. Okay. I haven't played that. You should You should play it. I made a review for it on my YouTube channel, and the developers are really cool, and they sent me a message, and they were like, hey, thanks for reviewing our game. I was like, thanks. So yeah. they're pretty cool. Shout out to them. That does look cool. Yeah. So it's just like a... Essentially, it's just a game where you're, like, stranded in, like, the Norwegian wilderness, and, like, the world has ended, and it's like a... It's just like a slow death kind of game. Like, you are going to die, and you just see how long you can last. I see. Oh, that's pretty and cool. It's very ASMR-ish. I think you'd like it. Yeah. Try it out. All right, I'll try that. All right, though. But yeah, we can call it there. Guys, um, thank you all for watching slash listening. We do appreciate it. And uh, yeah, Crendor, what would you like to say to wrap things up? Uh, I'll just say, hey, follow us on all our stuff. You know? That's right. Uh, links in the description. You get the uh, just pretty much just google nixium or crendor uh mm -hmm. and you'll you'll find all our stuff any of the things we talked about just look those up right now uh yeah. nostalgic things old wow machinimas warhammer stuff uh pokemon mm -hmm. defense just look it all <laughs> look it all yeah. up and uh follow us everywhere and i don't know that's all i got yeah maybe uh if i could be so bold to the people listening, for those of you that made it this far, um, I will say that uh, if you guys have any suggestions for any, like, kind of old classic games that you were like, man, I loved this game growing up. Like, it was so cool. Maybe you guys could uh, play it one day, like, on stream or something. You know, leave a suggestion down below. Yeah. You know? I think it'd be kind of cool. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, everybody, thank you all for watching, and um, I guess, as always, uh, this has been Nixium and Crendor, and I will give him the final word. See you. <laughs>